welcome to another how-to video. Today we're going to be looking at how to understand the two levers on a 309. This is the only machine that has two levers. One is for one-way, two-way flow that all machines have. And the other lever is for a dual function aux relief setting. Machine operating at system aux pressure. The bucket will only overpower the thumb so far, but we can lift, hold the weight. It's not going to fall. We can run our thumb and bucket combination at system pressure and continue to hold and grip the weight. The machine is now working in the lower first aux pressure. So now once again, I can still get to the weight, grip the weight, but my grip power is not going to be as much but the bucket will overpower the thumb easier and put it into a cradle position. But I need to remember that my holding power is not the same and now I'm using this in a cradled position. So on the next gen 309 and only on the 309, we do have two levers up above the valve there. Quite simply, the one on the left hand side is one way, two way flow. One way flow, mulches, compactors, and hammers. When it's in the back position, that's two-way flow, augers, and most importantly, thumbs. When you want something to be powered in two different directions, you need it in two-way flow. But if you're gonna put a hammer on this machine or a mulcher, you would just pull this forward into the one-way flow position. Now, a lot of people ask, yeah, but how about the second lever? When the second lever is pushed in that back position, it's, the machine is running on the system aux pressure. So when you're using something like a thumb, the bucket will only overpower the thumb so far, and then we will grip the load and we will not drop it. However, some old school operators and some preferences out there, uh, they want the bucket to overpower the thumb into a cradle position. Now we run at system pressure, so we don't need to do that, but like I say, there is a preference. So what some people do on standard machines is they adjust the aux relief setting in order to overpower the thumb. Makes the thumb work great, but now if you're using a hammer, mulcher, mower, or any other hydromechanical tools on that machine, you're leaving some performance on the table because you're using a lower aux relief setting. Well, on the 309, we're gonna give you the best of both worlds. The right hand lever in the position at the back, this is in the system relief pressure for the machine. So you're gonna get the best performance you can out of hydromechanical tools, but the bucket is not going to overpower the thumb. If we were to pull the lever forward, we now go into a second aux relief setting that is lower. So now the bucket will overpower the thumb, which is great, how some people prefer to operate. And when they put a hydromechanical tool back on this machine that requires system pressure, you simply just push it back. Hopefully that explains how the two valves work on a next gen 309. For further information, contact your local cat dealer and look out for more how-to videos.